I will not be living here, then. Your father is eager to have you live with him. Is it a long journey, Uncle? No. Catherine, my love. He's gone, Nelly. My cousin is gone. How am I to love my father if I don't know him? All children love their parents. Is Wuthering Heights as pleasant a place as Thrushcross Grange? It is not so buried in trees, and it is not quite so large, but you can see the country beautifully all around. I'm quiet now. No more questions. You are already looking so pale. Ah, oh, you brought it, have you? I feel I'd have to come down and fetch my property myself. One footstep on my land, and you know what will happen to you. Well, let's see what we can make of it. Oh, God, what a beauty. Well, damn my soul, it is worse than I expected, and the devil knows I wasn't very hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Looks worse than you. Do you know, mate? No. Well, your mother was a wicked slut to keep you in ignorance. The sort of father you possess. How oh, dare you? I shall carry him. Oh, man, you have had me the strength to carry your soul. Don't leave me. Don't stay here. Don't stay here. Don't leave me, Uncle Edgar. You must be kind to your son. Else as God is my witness, I shall find a way of hurting you. Possibly very kind to him. You needn't fear. Stay just one night, just long enough for me to get to know him better. Because I do not think that is what his father would wish for him, Catherine. Is he far away? Exceeding far. Your father traveled all night. When Linton's mother died, I wanted nothing more than to have him here with us, but that is simply not possible. We will have to remain as we have always been, just you and me, the two of us, and Nellie here. All I wanted was a friend. But you took him away, and you will not tell me why, so it is not like it always was. It can never be like that anymore. was Cathy's, your mother's. I've kept it these 18 years. My father was up at the church, I suppose. Why does his sadness at mother's death always weigh on his happiness that I was born? Now, now, Chick. What shall we do to cheer you up? I know where I wish to go, where a colony of more game is settled. That must be a good distance up, I'm not so sure. Please, Nellie. You did ask me, and it is my birthday. All right, but we must be back within the hour. Where are they, Miss Catherine? We must go back. A little further, only a little further, Ellen. We must go back, we really must go back.
you doing, girl? I was searching for grouse eggs. My land? That would be poaching. Papa said there were quantities on the moor, and I would never have taken any. I just wished to see them. And Papa is Mr. Linton of Thrushcross Grange, is he not? Who are you? You don't know me? Of course I don't. Yet I know you, Catherine. You may know my name, but you don't know me. I know enough to know that today is your birthday. I was acquainted with your mother. I know that today is the anniversary of her death. Oh, I see. And you saw me and recognized my mother in me. No. There is nothing of your mother in you. Well, how then? Come and meet my son. You know him already. He will help explain everything. Know him? How could I? Come to my house and see, child. I will come. But I think you are mistaken. <laughs> Didn't I tell you you knew him? Linton? Is that you? This is your son. Catherine, I prayed so to see you before I died. You were so close these past months. Why did you never come and see me? Best ask your father, that. My father? He told me that Linton was living many miles away. So you must be my uncle, then. If you have any kisses, child, give them to Linton. You should go, young lady. You should not have come here. Why? Because I would discover that my cousin should be so close. Make yourself at home, Nelly. Your old chair still sits there for you. You lived here too. She did indeed. And she raised your mother here. This is true, Nelly. And she raised me also. Although I don't know if Nelly looks at me with pride for the job she did. Now, son, have you nothing you can go and show your cousin? Take her to the stables to see the horses. Wouldn't you rather sit here? I love being out of doors, don't you? Hareton, come here. You shall have to settle for Hareton here. Isn't he a handsome lad? Go with her around the farm and behave like a gentleman, mind, and don't stare. Now you have a challenger for your cousin's heart. It's some damnable writing, but I cannot read it. Perhaps I could help you to read, if your master would allow it. My master? My master? Damn you! I'll see thee damned before they calls me servant. I'm sorry if I gave offence. He's not a servant. He's your cousin, too. My cousin? I have tied his tongue. He will never be able to emerge from his coarseness and ignorance. And is this how you take your revenge? By warping the next generation? Is that why you lured young Catherine here? I just want her and Linton to get to know each other. Where's the harm of it? From now on, you are to avoid his house and his family. I know this is because you dislike Mr. Heathcliff. No, it is because he dislikes me and is a most diabolical man, delighting to wrong and ruin those he hates if they give him the slightest opportunity. But Mr. Heathcliff was quite cordial, Father. And he didn't object to our seeing each other. He detests you on my account. I am certain of that. You, you will listen to me, and you will obey me. You will not visit Fothering I...
You must rest, sir. I cannot abandon her to him.